Since version 2.8 released, its development is going so full steam ahead that it's hard to keep track of all the different builds Blender can offer. Along with the stable releases, packed with tons of improvements and great new features we have every few months, every day the Blender Foundation updates new alpha, beta and even experimental branches for us to test out and enjoy. All of this can be difficult and annoying to track, but luckily for us, this Blender Launcher can greatly help and make downloading new versions and testing new branches a breeze. Let's see how it works. Nadza here, bringing to you tutorials about Unreal Engine and Blender new features, new builds and new tools that can really help, along with templates and extensions for Notion Productivity app. If you like the content, consider to subscribe to the channel, it really helps a lot. Like, comment down below and enjoy the video. We can get the Blender Launcher uh, on Gumroad for $4 or more. And if you want to help the development of this tool, um, this is the way to do it. Or you can also grab it on GitHub for free. Here there is the code base where the developers are directly working on it. It's available for Windows and Linux machines. And here on GitHub, we can just look for the latest version and download it. The zip file contains only the exe executable for windows in this case so i have already extracted the executable what i usually do is to create a blender foundation folder under program files and then i save the blender launcher here and um, when you boot it up you will have this interface you will have mainly two tabs uh, the library and the downloads in the library you can check the different builds you already downloaded locally and you can launch them immediately in the downloads um, every time you boot the launcher up you will see all the different branches and versions available in the Blender Foundation repository. So we have the stable releases from 2.79 until the 2.90 and the 2.90.1 it's already downloaded in my case so that's why it's not showing here in the downloads. And then we have the daily builds for the 2.91 and the 2.92 versions that are actually in development. And then we have a ton of experimental branches we can test out and see for ourselves. Using this, it's really easy and really convenient. So let's say I want to test out a daily build of the upcoming 2.91 I just go here in the download tabs and click download the blender launcher will create a temporary folder where it downloads the required files and then we will have a newly created daily folder where every daily blender version we download from here will be stored as you can see the daily folder has just been created we already have the stable folder with our 2.90.1 version and uh, if we go back to library and we look for daily builds now we have the 2.91 beta version 
correctly downloaded in our PC. And we can do a lot of stuff directly from the Blender Launcher menu. If we right click a version we downloaded locally, we can mark it as favorite. So it will be easier to spot our favorites builds. We can register the extension so that the .blend file is correctly associated with this Blender version and this is super convenient. We can create a shortcut in the desktop. We can see the folder and we can easily delete every version we downloaded locally. And we can even launch every version we have locally so I can test directly the 2.91 and it's the first time I downloaded the 2.91 so let's bring my 2.90 settings to the 2.91 and if we go back to the launcher we see that one um, one instance of this 2.91 beta is running so we can even launch more instances and the launcher will keep the count of how many instances we have opened right now as you can see two instances are counted here and if i make the register extension for the 2.91 i can also open a um, blend file and it will boot up directly with that exact blender version as you can see we can double check the splash screen and i just double clicked a blend file and it opened directly with the 2.91 we can only have one favorite blender version at a time and this will help us highlight our favorite one among many versions we can have locally there are a few settings we can customize here clicking this gear so the most important one is to um, set the path for the downloads so as i told you before i chose to create myself the blender foundation folder under program files and so the different version I download with the launcher will go directly there. I can choose to launch the program as soon as the system starts. I can keep the launcher minimized in the system tray. We can choose the color of the icon of the launcher. We can choose the default tabs that opens up when we launch it and many other things. So we can close it and it's still available here in the system tray. So it's super convenient just clicking one time and we are back to our library of releases and we can boot up another Blender version with ease. And this little program really helps us stay on top of the different versions updates and builds and you don't need any more to jump into the blender.org website and look for the latest version it has been my go-to way to manage blender versions for a while let's show some support to the developers for their awesome work thanks for sticking till the end and see you to the next one.